What's going on guys? Update video. Obviously, like I say in every video, sorry it took me so long. Um, kind of got some bad news, I guess. I don't really know. Unfortunately, this car is my daily. And I haven't really been doing like anything to it, really. So, the uh, videos are going to be slowing down a lot. Like maybe once every three months or something. I don't really know, to be honest. Because... I have no money and nothing to do onto the car. First of all, I hope the camera's better. I got the new iPhone X or iPhone 10, whatever you want to call it. But um, one of the updates I did or things I did is I got yellow high beam bulbs. I don't know if you will see in there, but I got yellow high beams. Uh, kind of like a blue white low beam then yellow fog lights I'll turn those on in a second another thing I got is the uh, energy suspension front and rear torque mount polyurethane inserts because you know this car has a hundred and ninety two thousand miles on it now and I'm sure the bushings are really old Another thing I got on the car is uh, some Nokia Hyper White bulbs. These are the ones out of the car. So I put the two bulbs in the license plate and the rear um, trunk light. I do not like these bulbs. I'm returning them. They say Hyper White and I was wanting White White. But these are have like a blue tint to them. The, uh, the bulbs in there are Nokia, the same brand. Another thing I got on the car was a all wheel alignment that was like eighty six dollars then the another thing i got or got done was um i got the fenders rolled as you can see that little lip is rolled now so the fenders were rolled on both sides unfortunately when he was rolling the fenders um, which I already know, but more rust popped off. Took another piece from here over popped off. And yes, I need to get this taken care of. But I don't really care about it right now. Um, like I said, oh, another thing I did in my bed. I forgot all about this in my bed, guys. I tend to the outer, uh, like the amber, the outer parts of the tail lights. Um, these little, uh, tint inserts are like, I think they're like $7 on eBay. There's a little transparent, uh, vinyl that you just like, it comes with instructions of how to do it. So there ain't no purpose of me doing a video about it. Um, unfortunately when I did it, I burnt. You can see the bubble right there. I burnt it cause I've never done that stuff before. So I ordered another set. I have another set at home. I'll, uh, I'm at the shop right now, but I'll take another video when I get back at my house. Um, so I have another set of the uh, little overlays. I'll show you those. Um, at my house, I went to my, actually I went to my buddy's house. Um, he lives in Wichita, Kansas. He has a legit Honda Integra DC5 Type R. Yes. A legit Type R in the States. So if you don't know, you know, the Type R has to be older than 25 years old for it to be in the States. But his got in, like, through the loopholes that were back in, like, 2006. But I'll post a photo up right now of uh, me sitting inside the car and um, a couple of photos of the outside. So those are going to go up right now. All right, <clears throat> here's the headlights. On camera, they look more blue than they are in person. 
Like I'm looking at both right now and in person they're more like white. Then there's the fog lights in person they, they're like yellow. It looks way different on camera. But and I got the yellow fog lights. Now, you know, some people are like, oh, you're a ricer because you have yellow fog lights. Well, if you think about it, the DC2 Type R or the DC2 Integra from Japan comes with yellow fog lights. They're in the headlight up there. So not really ricer there. And the um, load beams on the, you know, DC2 Type R or Integra from Japan, they're kind of like a blue tint because they're HIDs for the 98 spec. Now, the high beams, like I said, I got are yellow also. And it looks so different on camera than in person because in person it's way different. I don't think there's no way I'd be able to capture it on camera. But like I said, the high beams are yellow. I guess I am a ricer for that. So be it. I think they're kind of cool, I don't know. I'll see if I can focus the camera. Yeah, there you guys can go. It it looks pretty close to that in person, but the um, the high beams are a lot more yellow. But anyways, there's that. And then here's the license plate lights. I don't know if you all tell. Yeah, you can see right there, they're like blue tinted and I do not like that at all. I wanted white, like crisp white. Then I'll show you the uh, the light back here. As you can tell, the light back here is crap. This is what's lighting it up back here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'll focus it. But anyway, those Nokia bulbs, whatever, the um, halogen bulbs are crap. They're very, very, very dim and not good at all. But, all right, all right, I'm back. If you guys are interested in these bulbs, because a lot of people like what I do to my car, I guess just put it in the comments, whatever, and I'll leave you the link to them. Only thing you gotta do is go on eBay. This is what I'm gonna do when I give you the link. Just go on eBay and type in Nokia, N-O-K-Y-A. N-O-K-Y-A. Just type in Nokia, H1. And it'll come up with the blue version and the yellow version. And H1 is a size for high and low beams. Both of them are H1. This is for the um, <clears throat> the O2, the O4 RSX. The fog light bulbs are H11. And some people say, oh, you have to pull out the headlight or pull your bumper off and pull out the headlight to change the bulbs. Well, you are wrong. Right here. Oh. Right there is the low beam or high beams right there. To change those, the only thing I do is take off the battery strap, pull your battery out of the way. And for your high beams, they're way down in here. Or your low beams, sorry. Now this is very hard to get to, but a thing that I found out is your overflow tank has like a little slider on it. You slide this back and push this out of the way and you can stick your hand through here. As you see, I'm touching the back of the bulb right there. That's all you have to do for this side. <laughs> this side over here is a little harder, but I'd say it's almost easier. I mean, I don't know, it's about the same. Only thing I do is pick, pull up on this, and that pulled up the reservoir, and you can unclip it from here and push this out of the way, and you can get to all, all the bulbs. Like, that right there is the yeah, low beams, and I can touch that right there. And you can change them all <clears throat> from the back side. Like I said, I went on YouTube to see like tutorials on how to do it. Cause I mean, this is a new car, I don't know. And like I said, this dude pulled off his front bumper, pulled out the headlights, this and that. And it he just wasted a lot of his time when you can literally change it from the backsides. But anyways, figured I'd give you guys an update. I, like I said, I have no money right now. Um, I mean, I do have a little bit, but I'm gonna be getting little stuff. Like I said, I bought that brand new. Um, I don't think I even, yeah, I haven't said it yet. But anyway, the reason why I went to my buddy's house as a legit Integra is I bought a brand new OEM Honda 
clutch master cylinder. You guys probably won't be able to see, but the clutch master cylinder is way back there. You can see it right there, it's right there. But anyway, I bought a brand new OEM Honda that. It was brand new, never been used. He bought it, never used it. Reason why I bought that is because it feels like my clutch master cylinder is going out. When I shift, it kind of like, it doesn't grind, but I can feel it going into gear. Like, I don't know, it's kind of like notchy feeling, which it don't feel right because it's some, like even the other day, I went to go put it in first gear from a, uh, a stoplight and it wouldn't even go in first gear. And I had to pump the clutch up like twice. Then it went into first gear. So it's either the slave or the uh, slave or the master cylinder. So I'm gonna try the master cylinder. And if not, then I will be replacing the slave. But, and also supposedly these are supposed to help with shifting also because the motor don't rock forward. When the motor rocks forward, it pulls on the shifter cables, which prevent, you know, you getting into gear every time. So I'm gonna put these on, then change out the clutch master cylinder, and hopefully that'll fix the problem. I won't be doing it in this video, but I'm gonna give you guys an update. Sorry I've been talking this whole time, not really showing parts because, you know, quite frankly, I don't have any parts to show besides what I already said. I can't show the alignment because, I mean, yeah. And that was like $100 there. And to roll the fender was another 30. So that's $120 there or 130, somewhere around there when I could have bought other parts. But another thing I bought, I forgot to say, I bought center caps for the wheels. Um, obviously they're not on the car because if you guys don't know the, um, the CV axle and nut sticks out so far, I'll see if I can show you that center caps don't fit. I bought OEM Honda center caps and what you have to do is, uh, grind the inside of the caps out to make them clear. I got that. Um, I'll show you when I get to my house of the, the part. All right. <laughs> I just got done installing those. Energy suspension motor mount inserts. Them things took forever to do. Just like anything on this RSX, it takes forever. It took me four and a half hours to do that, which, whatever. And I also I yeah, removed those bulbs I was telling you about. Like I said, they're blue there, but they say hyper white, but they're more like light blue. And also I wanted to show you this, you guys this, I think it's pretty cool. So my headlights, you can't really see nothing, right? Like, you know, they just look normal. But as soon as you get down low, you can tell that, you know, the blue and the yellow. Same with the fogs. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe I'm a ricer. Like I said, they're clear there. You know, you can't tell, you know. Then get down low, then it's yellow and blue. But, all right, I'm gonna take a video of the parts and then that's the end of the video. Sorry this video's so long. I kind of dragged it on, whatever. These are the center caps I bought. There's the part number. But you have to mill down the middle part right here to clear the cap to clear the uh, axle nut. Then in here is the, um, give me a second. And then, uh, and, and then here is the, uh, the tail light covers, the little tent for the tail lights. I also got, Like I said, I got the uh, OEM Honda Clutch Master Cylinder. I still don't know if I'm going to run this. I might go K-Tune and just get a lot of K-Tune parts, I guess. But, I'm trying to find, see what else I got real quick. Oh, in here, that's what I'm trying to show you guys. I went, I ordered this off of uh, eBay. It was actually kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna open it up real quick. I'm not gonna fully go through it, but I'll show you the outside. 
It's the original brochure from the dealer. It was brand new. Then I bought the accessory book, which has the A-Spec kit in it and the gold emblems. Like I said, it's brand new, OEM. I thought that was pretty cool. I got the book, the main blue book, off of eBay for $7 shipped. And I got the accessory book, which is pretty rare. And I got this off of eBay for like seven, $7.50 shipped. But and then another thing that I haven't showed you guys is uh, I, I told you guys all about, I told you guys about the receipts that this car has, or my car from the previous dealer or the owner. These are all of the receipts from the previous owner. Just all of this. But I thought that was pretty cool. But all right guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there now. Like I said, those are the bulbs. But alright, see ya.